movement and musical instruments. Musical instruments need movement input energy. Look at the pictures of the people playing the musical instruments. How does each instrument work to make sounds? Musical instruments work when we give them input energy. All instruments use movement energy to make them work. Look at the pictures again. The girl is shaking the shaker. The boy is beating the drum. The lady is plucking the harp. And the boy is blowing the penny whistle. The girl shakes the shakers. The boy beats the drum. The woman plucks the harp strings and the boy blows the penny whistle. Musical instrument parts can move or vibrate. The musical instruments in the pictures on the page before have parts that can move or vibrate. When something makes tiny movements, we say that it vibrates. Seeds or beads inside the shakers vibrate when the girl shakes them. The skin of the drum vibrates when the boy beats it. The harp strings vibrate when the woman plucks them. Air inside the penny whistle vibrates when the boy blows it. Let us look at activity one. Identify the input move identify input movement and parts of musical instruments that can vibrate. Look at the pictures of the different musical instruments below. The tambourine, the guitar, the triangle, the piano, the vuvuzela, and the rain stick. Let us look at how they work. The tambourine, the input movement that makes the instrument work is shaking. Which part of the instrument vibrates? The metal discs. Let's do the next one. The guitar. What is the input movement that makes the instrument work? Plucking the strings. Which part of the instrument vibrates? the strings and makes a sound. Then the triangle. The triangle is struck with a metal bar. When it is struck with a metal bar, the triangle vibrates and makes a sound. The piano. When the piano's keys are struck, it makes the chords inside the piano vibrate and makes a sound. In the vuvuzela, when the person blows through the vuvuzela, the air vibrates and makes a sound. In a rain stick, the tiny beads vibrate and make a sound. Musical instruments produce sound as the main output energy. You will remember that a system has input energy and output energy. A musical instrument is a system. The input energy in this type of system is movement energy and the main output energy is sound energy. Let's talk about indigenous musical instruments. People all over the world play music on different types of musical instruments. In South Africa, we have our own types of musical instruments. These instruments first came from the rest of Africa, so we say that they are indigenous to Africa. African musical instruments. Music is an important part of African life. For thousands of years, people of Africa have made and played musical instruments. African people play music for entertainment, celebration, religious ceremonies, and to honor chiefs and elders. South African musical instruments. In South Africa, 
people from Venda and Shangan cultures play drums and marimbas. The drums are made from hollowed out logs that are covered with animal skin. To make music, the drummer beats the top of the drum with her, his or her hands. There is an African drum. Marimbas, ombilas are a type of xylophone. The keys are made from strips of wood joined to a wooden frame. To play the marimba, you use wooden sticks to hit the keys. Marimba music is popular in South Africa. That is a marimba. A musical bow or gubwa, which is, it is called in Zulu, is a long bent stick with a single string joined to the two ends of the stick. To play a musical bow, you pluck or stroke the strings using your fingers or a small stick. This creates musical sounds. A hollow gourd, which is a round fruit with a hard shell, is tied to the pen stick to make the sound louder. A thumb piano, ombira, is an instrument from Zimbabwe. It is played in many parts of Africa and South Africa. A thumb piano is made from a block of wood with metal keys or tongues joined to it. You play a thumb piano by plucking the keys with your fingers or thumb. To make sound louder, you can put the thumb piano inside a hollow container such as a cord. A vuvuzela, a loud, noisy vuvuzela. Not everybody likes a vuvuzela, but it is part of the South African culture. A vuvuzela is, long, is a long, hollow plastic tube. It comes from South Africa. To play a vuvuzela, you blow air into the tube. The air inside the tube vibrates to make a loud sound come out of the other end of the vuvuzela. Remember, never blow a vuvuzela close to someone's ears. It is very loud and can cause pain and can damage the hearing. That is a vuvuzela. Activity 2. Explain how indigenous musical instruments work. Work on your own with a partner. Read about indigenous musical instruments on the two pages and answer the questions. What type of, what type of input movement makes each instrument work? The African drum, the marimba, the musical bow, the vuvuzela and the thumb piano. What type of output energy do the instruments produce? African drum, marimba, musical bow, vuvuzela and the thumb piano. How can you make the musical bow and thumb piano make a louder sound? You will do this work in your books.